Today, I'll be doing the achievement, the best defense on the mission, Zero Hour. Alright, the achievement's requirements are to destroy four Zerg hatcheries in the mission. Plain and simple, straightforward, no complexities, right? It's easy, it's just a defense mission where you have to be a little less than defensive would be offensive. Starting out though, you know you're gonna need marines, you know you're gonna need medics. And to get those, you're gonna need SCVs. Start making those. I'm gonna leave the injured one in the back here. No losses, very good. All right. So I cleared the right side first because that's where the first bonus objective is going to appear and the bonus objective nets you extra marines and medics maybe. Just free units, so that is why it's important to go get those. Normally, when you go through this mission, it's a simple defense mission. Just stay alive for like 20 minutes. No trouble. Just build bunkers, build marines, SCVs to repair, call it a day. But for the achievement, you're actually going to have to gather up an army and move out on the map while leaving enough at home that you stay alive. Because if they destroy all of your buildings, it's game over. No, you go back there. Get those reinforcements. Get a tech lab. Thought we were gunners there. Got extra bunkers. I'm gonna make a depot here once these guys get through. And that should complete the wall off. Totally fine. Depot there. Not a full wall yet, but I also don't think it really needs to be. Fill in the bunkers. Two bunkers at each entrance should be totally sufficient to get the job done. I'm gonna add on one more to gas. Two SCVs and gas. I did build an extra barracks, so I'm running three racks. I'm not sure I'll even be able to support that or not because I'm only on one base, but we're gonna try. One tech lab and two reactors just to have as many marines as possible. Don't need too many medics. Here come the mutas, the mutt mutts. And now from here guys, it is the most lovely boring stage of the achievement. You have to build your army which requires minerals and also to not get supply blocked. Let's go ahead and make a depot, get that started. As far as where the hatcheries are concerned, because the achievement just says destroy them, well where are they, Indicos? Fantastic question. There are three locations that have hatcheries, that is, the corners of the map. So there's three, I want to say, in the bottom left, three in the top right, and two in the top left. So either way, you will have to go to multiple locations to get all four. I think I'm going to go for the two in the top left, and then the three in the top right. If I get them all, that's five. Plenty. I have heard rumors and suspicions, I've been told by others, that you don't actually need to go to multiple locations to get the hatcheries, that the Zerg will actually try and retake destroyed hatcheries. So if you move in, you destroy some, that you leave, they will come and rebuild them. And then you just have to destroy the new ones, which are less guarded. 
than if you went to a different location. I'm going to test that theory at the end. I'm going to go through the achievement like I would going to different locations. But I will test that theory at the end, because I'm curious. Would love to know for the future. I've got four medics. It might actually be a pretty good amount. Definitely need more marines and more depots. Gonna have to have that one SCV just building depots. Add on an extra turret in case they send more mutas. One nice thing about doing this on hard difficulty is the lack of bane legs. As somebody who did this achievement and the 10th anniversary achievement, which is to destroy eight hatcheries, on brutal, I can say fighting banelings was not much fun. I'm gonna make a quick save file because I am just about ready to move out. And in case this goes horribly wrong, guys, make a save file. You can just reload it. It's like, oh man, I lost everything. Let me get maybe 10 more Marines and call it good. I'm moving out on the left side here. I'm gonna make my way towards the top left raise the walls and keep producing behind this because you will need to reinforce. Try and fight the Zerg forces away from their spine crawlers because that's a little more healthy. Gun down the spine, take care of the Zerg forces. This should be good. Should be well on my way to getting both of those hatcheries. Still making stuff behind this, because I will need to reinforce, ideally before going to the next place. Target down the hatch. That is a healthy amount of marines. Make more depots. How's the base doing? I could use a little help. That's why we keep making marines behind this. Oh, there's the third bonus. That would be good too. Okay, new plan. Both forces are gonna join up over here, get the bonus, and then proceed. Have you get that? You go get the reinforcements. Okay. Should be good. Join everybody up, group hug. No more hatcheries up here. Got both of them. So make my way over to the top right side. Get rid of both spines, those are by far the biggest threat. Slow lings don't pose much of a threat at all. The hydras are a little annoying, but there's not enough of them to be a cause for concern. Keep making marines behind this. Seven and a half minutes still on the clock and I only have to get these hatcheries. Do I want to reinforce by going through the right? That's a lot of Zerg. Do I want to join them up? Or just wait until I have enough? I think I just wait. I 
That's a pretty good amount now. No medics, though. They're not actually really targeting the medics. They're targeting the marines. Left side, get some repairs. Keep the bunkers healthy and it should be okay. You guys should be enough. Alright, some reinforcement marines. I should only need one more hatchery for the achievement. Get that. The best defense obtained. Now that is all that has to be done for the achievement, but because of my curiosity, I'm going to keep going here for just another minute. I want to see, did the Zerg retake the hatcheries in the top left corner? Because I destroyed those already, and then left for a few minutes. Let's see. No, it doesn't look like it. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, either way, the best defense obtained. I don't think it's too difficult even if you do have to go to multiple areas, different locations. Just get into the mission, make your SCVs, get a couple bunkers at each entrance, and start massing up your army. Mostly Marines. You don't need a lot of medics because they don't actually get targeted on hard difficulty, it seems. The enemy goes after your Marines. Once you have a sufficient army, make a save file, go out on the map. I recommend the top left and the top right corners, but I think it's probably flexible. Just be a bit careful if you're going up a ramp. Either way, I hope this was helpful or entertaining. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. They are remaking buildings over here. So, they remake the hatcheries in the top right, but not the top left. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so I guess an amendment then. If you kill the hatcheries in the... Wow, this is going to hell in a handbasket. If you kill the hatcheries in the top right, then you can leave and come back and kill them again. Kill these three. Now I'm curious, is that the eight for the 10th anniversary achievement? Does it still count them? Totally fine. Yeah, there you go. Okay, good to know. So the Zerg will remake some of the hatcheries, not all of them. Apparently that top left corner is just not important to them.